Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Factorial. Today we are going to pick up where we left off. We are going to continue with our power. As you can see I've just started rearranging it. Slightly different to the last episode. So next what we're going to want to do is if we just grab a conveyor belt. Press it like that. Place it in the middle. So we know where our conveyor belt's going to go. Next, if we grab all of our boilers, place one. Oh crap, I'm in the way. <laughs> Help if I move. There we go. Now we've got all the boilers. Now we're going to need to fill these up with some fuel. If we get down to this chest. Grab some of this stuff. And now if we place some coal in each of these. That's one side working. more coal so if we quickly get that so we fill this last one up with the coal as you can see as I hover over it it's water it's got plenty of water its temperature is 21 so it's heating up and its available performance is climbing so we're going to need some power lines next so these guys can start giving off power once they've heated up so if we go into logistics and craft say a fair few watch them craft in the corner great thing about this game I like as well is that down here in your hotbar, you can, it's quite easier to control their power. Okay. Okay, we place that one down. Now, if we bring these over this way as far as they can go. And we got two more, so we're probably going to want to make a couple more of these. There. So we got that so far, so what we can do is we can press T. As you can see, this is all the stuff we can research. But for that we're going to need a research lab, which we'll make in a second. So just so you know, all the red stuff is what we need more stuff to research. All the yellow stuff is what we can research at the moment. So if we go to logistics, so we're going to want the underground belts and splitters so if we're going to need one red potion or science pack and we're going to need 20 of them so if we press E so we can make six if we make all six now so we still need more iron and copper so if I get mining all the copper we need and I'll be back 
and we can carry on with the power system. Right, okay, and we're back. As you can see, I've managed to get some copper plates and iron. Hopefully this is everything we need. So we're gonna need, what was it, 20? So one, two, three, four, I think that's how many we need. We'll soon find out. So yeah, as I was saying guys, this is a great way. Like, you know, in Minecraft your inventory gets full and you know, oh it's like, oh, where do I put stuff now? It's like crap. Great thing about this is you can sort out your inventory. And so once it's crafted, it goes straight in there and it, you can use it when you want, which I think is excellent. So, while we're waiting for that to finish, if we head back over to the power plant, or power station, whatever you guys want to call it, if we grab these two inserters which run on electricity, which I made earlier, we're going to want to rotate them so one goes there and we're going to want to rotate them again as you can see we're going to need a power line which we'll get very soon so how many got sweet we got 20 now if we go to the logistics what we're going to do to make this we're going to need a lab so a lab we're going to need 15 plates, so we need one more copper. So I think we'll just quickly mine that now. We will eventually get around to automating this copper, like we have the iron and the coal. So if we quickly smelt this into plates, so we can use it. Okay, we only need one. Uh, and now we can craft this laboratory as you can see off it goes so while that's crafting we'll head over to where we want to put our lab say we'll put it over this side eventually it'll be one two three but for now we'll pick it up and we'll place it here. Okay. Available 21%. 21%. So we'll have to wait till they warm up. Temperature's 100, temperature's 21, so we're going to have to wait till 21, so we're going to have to wait a bit, so while we're waiting for that to warm up, we're going to need to craft just temporarily. We'll craft a burner miner. So we're going to need some stone. Grab some stone. Sorry, this is taking a while, guys, because yeah, haven't really been playing this too long but I basically understand the game so make one of them and we'll place this down in the copper field oh crap it's in the inventory oh, silly me auto rotate 
down there, so we're going to need to go get some coal. Let's grab 31 coal. Last but not least, make a chest. Let that do its thing. So once that's warmed up, we can carry on. Right, and as you can see, as you can see, these have got 23 degrees. It looks like they've got to enough temperature to provide power to. Oops. Do this thing over here so now if we go into laboratory we place all 20 of these in here oh, okay it hasn't got enough power yet so that's my bad okay as you can see I quickly um, set up that to get some copper so what we're gonna want is we're gonna want a couple more power lines Craft them and yeah, we're gonna have to bring them down here and we're going to have to connect these two up as they have no power at the moment. So if we grab these two up. Okay, power lines, well we may have to leave that for now, and when we can actually use this, I will be back, right, sorry about that, but right, I think if we go now, click in here, and now if we go T, if we go logistics, and now if we go research, there you go, it should start, there you go, off it goes. And while that's going, why don't we try and get some conveyor belts and head up to make that automated. So if we make uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 of them while they're running check that's yep that's all right this little box here was i made earlier for to store some coal so yeah hope you guys are enjoying it and wanting to learn or play factorial eventually i'll have this up as a server and if you guys would like to join well Please feel free, as you can see our coal's backed up. And yes, our conveyor belts are built, so if we place them here to keep going up. Oops. Eventually, once this is done, we can get a splitter and we can split this evenly now if we auto rotate okay we're going to need a couple more iron do we have any more iron yes we do we have a hundred plates e Let's make all 45 because we're probably going to need it. So, yes. Right, and now we've got the rest of our conveyor belts. We finish laying them. Probably going to want to go to about here. Right. 
rotate it upwards. And there you go, we have finished our research, so we will be able to get them now. Them splitters and them underground conveyor belts, which we are about to need. So if I press T, there we go, we can make them. Now if we go to hit E for our inventory, somewhere in here, there you go, underground conveyor belts, so we are lacking in iron. Two of them, hopefully. Okay, we've got four. More the merrier. So, what I'm going to want to do is place a conveyor here. My bad. Sorry, guys. I'll be. I'll fix this. I'll be back in a sec. Right. Okay. And sorry about that. I am. But I finally figured it out. There we go. So the conveyor belt runs up like that to the underground conveyor belts there and there again, and it runs through to there and these arms wall, etc. So if we grab some power lines. If they can reach, they can't. Well, we'll have to. Um, looks like I may have to figure out another way of getting power to them. Walk to it. Take that one away. Take that. And oh. Crap, my bad, wrong way. Go. Now we know it works at least. There we go. Now we know it works, so that will pull coal into there once it's ready. I'll do the other one in a minute. So if we run around here. Grab that. Oops. Auto rotate. There we go. So they will fill them up when they need filling up. And we got the underground conveyor belts. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow we'll start... Um, next episode we'll start automating the copper. And then we'll work on expanding the power station down here and see where we go from there there's plenty more to do what guys don't you worry so i hope you enjoyed it until next time
Thank you.